This is 2080 AP Physics 1 FRQ question. Um, a block P always before you start solving, um, looking at the videos, try to solve these questions on your own because you only will know what you do know or don't know or understand or don't understand if you try to solve it yourself. You also will remember better and understand better if you try to figure out things on your own before you watch somebody's explanation. And then after the video is done, you also want to go back to the links that I will provide um, to find this question and see how they scored this question on their AP exam uh, in 2018. Block P of mass M, so I have mass M, on the horizontal frictionless surface and is attached to a spring with a spring constant K. The block is oscillating with the period TP and the amplitude AP about the spring's equilibrium position X sub zero. A second block Q of mass 2M is then dropped from rest and lands on the block P at the instant it passes through the equilibrium position as shown above. Block Q immediately sticks to the top of the block P and the two block system oscillates with the period TPQ and the amplitude APQ. Determine the numerical value of the ratio TPQ over TP. So based on information that is given, and let me write wherever is given. So I have the constant the mass M, and therefore I have 2M given as well. I have the constant, and um, the amplitude AP is given. And TP is given. The block oscillates with TP above the spring. Um, the second block of M attached. Okay. Um, so this is the information that I'm going to be using. To find, so for A part, so for A, to find the TP first, period when the mass P is only attached that for the um, equation of the period of the spring you have 2 pi the square root of M over K when the second mass um, drops on top you have TP they call it TPQ is going to have the period of 2 pi and the mass now is 3m three, three because m plus 2m gives me 3m over k. So tpq over tp is going to be 2 pi 3m over k divided by 2 pi m over k. So my answer for tpq over tp is equal to 2m cancel, 2m cancel, um, m over k square root cancels. What's left is only the square root of 3. So that would be my answer for a. And it is a proportion, so it doesn't have to have units. For B part, um, for the B part, the question is, the figure is reproduced above. How does the amplitude of oscillation of APQ of the two block system compare with the original amplitude of AP of the block P alone? So the choices that they give you is um, amplitude, the new amplitude is less, the, amp the new amplitude is equal, or the new amplitude is 
uh, greater than the one that was before. The forces in the system did not change. It's still the spring force that is pulling the, um, the masses back and forth. So the forces did not change, but the mass did change. So for Newton's second law, you have um, F net is equal to M A. So your force is the same, your mass is bigger, so the acceleration is going to be smaller. We also know that um, the, so let me maybe write this one here, acceleration is smaller, the number here is smaller because the force is the same. So F net is the same, but the mass is bigger, so the acceleration must be smaller. We also know for conservation of momentum, I have um, mass velocity initial is equal to, now we have 3m and velocity final. So for velocity final is actually going to be one third of initial velocity that mass used to have. So if mass used to have um, the velocity v sub zero maximum, then the new velocity is going to be only one third maximum of the one that used to be. We also look, um, we can look at energy. So if the maximum energy, the maximum, so let's say potential energy initial, um, of the system was equal to one half kx squared. That energy was transferred to one half mv, and I will call it initial just because we already called it initial. So it was before the mass fell down. I mean, initial maximum velocity. Um, so that was before. Now um, you have one half three mv final squared. So because um, the new velocity, um, the new velocity is one third of V sub zero. So that's the same as one third. So I'm just rewriting uh, my kinetic energy here. It's gonna be one third, um, one half, three times M. But the V final squared, if I square my one third V sub zero, I get one ninth v sub zero squared. So v sub zero squared. So that gives me one half times one third m v sub zero squared. So it looks like your energy afterwards does not equal to the same energy that you used to have with the system before the block fell down. So from here, I can conclude that um, collision was inelastic, energy is not the same. And if energy is not the same, um, there cannot be the same amplitude because you don't have enough energy to reach the same um, position X as you used to before because you have less energy left to reach that final velocity. So the kinetic energy of the object after the collision is not as much as it used to be before the collision. So I could rewrite this like this. So potential energy initial was equal to one half kx squared and um, was transferred into the potential energy initial one half m v initial squared. Um, potential energy of the spring after is equal to one half k sum amplitude squared and will be transferred to the kinetic energy which is one half 3m and the final velocity is only one third of the initial velocity squared so that gives me one half there is additional one third appears m v squared so your um, new amplitude is not as big as it used to be before. Um, also, the energy before and after, they are not the same. So a uh, collision is inelastic because energy is not conserved. And your amplitude, the new amplitude is smaller than the old amplitude.